What you're witnessing is the most terrifying experience in this woman's life. Unless she correctly remembers a PIN number and withdraws $1,000, she believes her brother-in-law, who's being held hostage in a car nearby, will have his throat cut. I was so scared. I couldn't think straight. I was shaking. And this is the traumatised brother-in-law. Things that have happened should never have happened. And hurts. The ordeal began half an hour earlier in a shopping centre in the Perth suburb of Belmont. It's February the 11th this year. And one shopper isn't here for the specials. He's stalking a young mum who's just got in a car with her brother-in-law. Give me your money now. So he got in the car holding his big knife, demanding money. So I just turned around and said to him, I don't have any money, I just dropped off my kids. And he just turned around and said, sorry, mate, I'm going to cut your throat. And I could see her face changing colour. She was petrified. He was I... threatening to kill you, right? He was threatening to kill us. The armed robber demands that Trevor drives them to a bank. He pushed the blade fully extended, and he was about to hurt us. The robber directs them to a nearby ATM, where he orders Diana to withdraw $1,000 while he holds Trevor hostage. This CCTV footage shows Diana arriving at the ATM. You can see her coming in, and she, then she runs out twice trying to flag the cars down. That's right. She's trying to get the attention of any uh, potential passers-by. She's clearly very frightened and traumatised by the incident. No one responds to her pleas for help. And in her panic, Diana is unable to remember her PIN number. Suddenly, the tall, hulking man looms over her. So he's obviously um, impatient. He's come around and he's asking them now what's going on. Then her brother-in-law comes to help. And you can clearly see that both victims are very traumatised and frightened. And they're trying as quickly as possible to, uh, to comply with the offender's demands while he's holding the knife, uh, intimating that he will use it if they don't comply with him. Instead of typing in $1,000, I typed in $100 because I was so scared. I couldn't think straight. I was shaking. Not satisfied with $100, the bandit points the knife and demands more. He was angry. The guy was, he was angry, but he was nervous. So he snatched the $100 and said, I want $900. Trevor takes the card and withdraws the rest of the cash. Seconds later, the armed robber is gone. But their nightmare isn't over. Two months later, Diana sees her assailant again at the shopping centre, but she's too terrified to confront him. He's taken away not only my life, but my kids' happiness as well. Because it's a shopping centre. I used to come here with my kids. What I plead to all the people listening and watching is when you see this man, please, you just call the police. Let's get him off the street.